My name is Nanji Charles. I'm from Cameroon. I came to South Africa in 2010. Actually, the first reason was like I've been hearing about people like Nelson Mandela, and also during the World Cup, like when they were fighting on who to host the World Cup in Africa. I love carpentry. Carpentry is like part of my life. I enjoy doing it. That is where also I'm having my living. A wood is something that I really like to always work with on a daily basis. Definitely, I'm um, from a family of seven. We are four boys, three sisters, and all of them, they still live there in Cameroon. Except of me that I decided to travel here. I was born there in Bengui. Bengui is in the northwest province of the country. That is where I went to school. I spent most of my time there until when I decided to come here in South Africa in 2010. When I came here, it wasn't all that easy for me. Actually, I was looking for a job on the newspapers. The first place I saw a job on newspaper was in Kempty Park. I have to look for one of the guys around, take them there, and then we go there to check for the job. I didn't succeed there. So one guy also that I know, this guy phoned me and said I must come here to Wednesday. So I went there, I took a taxi from there, then I came here to Wednesday. So they took me to the shop, the first shop where I got my first employment here in South Africa. Yeah, so there they employed me, I started working there. So I worked there for, for seven months. Then I fell out with the boss, so I moved to look for another job. So why I was looking for the job? Most of the people that I met with them, when I talk to them, they say no. The only thing, because most of them also, they were white people and some few blacks. They, what they advised me was like, go do your own business. If you've got this knowledge you're telling us about, just get your own business started and be yourself. Work hard as a man, you're going to succeed. So I decided to come start my own business. It wasn't all that easy because at that point of time, I didn't have the capital. Yeah, I didn't have the capital on me. So I had to bought a machine from Macro, a table saw machine, the contractor saw, for about uh, 8,000 rand. That is how I started. So I just go around to look for old wood, like scrap wood, and then try to recycle them, make small stuff like bar tools, some kitchen chairs, and then start to sell them. And then from there, I was able to come out with maybe one or two bookshelves. That is how the whole thing started. Okay, I think what actually inspires me here in South Africa yeah, is like, most people here, they are encourageable. Yeah, they, they are able to pay you. Yeah, they are able to pay you. They encourage you to be strong enough and to do things on your own. So I think with the help of uh, everyone here in South Africa is what can make me to succeed. And I also think that any young, any young man or woman that is growing up thinking of a good future, if you can prove to South Africans that you are serious with them, keep to time, respect people, have respect for people, I think your business will definitely succeed. My name is Asanda Sibanyoni. I know Charles um, just from seeing his um, workshop and we needed wooden counters so we approached him and yeah, he serviced us. I'm very impressed. We told him exactly what we wanted and he delivered. Yeah, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I've got no complaints. But what me I'm actually doing here at my shop is like, people that they come, especially like for training, serious people, I take them and all those things I do for them for free, as far as they are citizens or even other foreigners because 
We all know that we all come from uh, poor backgrounds, poor families. Uh, in our life, we don't have any limitation. We only limit ourselves, the way we think and how we feel. But you can ever have whatever you want and you can always be where you want to be. It all depends about hard work and you have to start from learning. Yeah, you have to start from somewhere. You can't you can, you can have a million rand without start, starting from one cent. So don't minimize anything. What you have as an opportunity, use it. Use it no matter whatever you are doing. Be serious wherever you are working. I'm sure you're gonna make it.